this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in him. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray as we go into our worship experience. Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory for this day, for this is a day we've never seen before. You are a great God. You are mighty. You are excellent in all of your ways. We give your name the glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for your goodness towards us. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness towards us. Father, we thank you for allowing us to make it to this worship, ex worship experience just one more time. Father, we say have your way tonight. Have your way in this service. Move by your spirit. Let us feel your presence today. And we ask God that, that you just move in such a way that somebody will say yes to your will, yes to your way. We thank you. We give your name the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands and give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Join us now as we sing our morning hymn. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it all right. Hallelujah. Let's lift this great hymn together. I once was lost in sin. I once was lost in sin. But Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It made my heart in love. right where you are. Thank God we can have a little talk with Jesus and it makes it all right. Those in the sanctuary, you may be seated. I'm here to welcome everyone to the Mount Peace Baptist Church. Perhaps this is your first time tuning in. Perhaps this is your first time in the sanctuary. We just want to welcome you to Mount Peace. We have three services and we want you to know that whenever we worship traditionally again when the doors are open traditionally 
you are welcome to our 8 o'clock service, our 10 o'clock service, and or our 1159 worship service. Our pastor is the Reverend Dr. J. Vincent Terry Sr., and we are located at 1601 Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in Raleigh, North Carolina. So again, thank you so much for stopping by the Mount Peace Baptist Church so that we can worship the Lord together in spirit and in truth. Now, if you're there in the chat room on Facebook or even on YouTube, if you can see someone, we want you to take time to greet one another. We haven't done that in a long time. Now it's a little different on today, but we can still greet someone. So I want you to look down that chat line and see a familiar person, a familiar name, or maybe it's not a familiar name. Either way, let's take time to greet one another. We have great members here at Mount Peace Baptist Church. We have 8 o'clock people out there. We have 10 o'clock people out there. We have 1159 people out there, and we can still greet one another in the name name of the Lord. And you can even start a watch party on Facebook. So go ahead and do that so that we can share the name of Jesus. Again, welcome to Mount Peace. We have a few announcements for you. Would you please give your attention to our announcements? Greetings, Mount Peace. These are today's announcements. Mount Peace is excited to celebrate Sister Cassandra Jones this month for our Spotlight on a Senior. Sister Jones, we salute you. If you have not given your church anniversary special offering, you are encouraged to do so as we are looking to bless our college students with scholarships. Thank you for your sacrifice. The Mount Peace Church office continues to observe abbreviated hours. The current operating hours are Wednesday through Friday between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. All in-person Wednesday evening and Sunday morning worship services have been canceled until further notice. However, you can worship with Mount Peace every Sunday at noon via Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and 57WLLE.net International Radio Station. On the first Sunday in October, Mount Peace will take part in the Lord's Supper. Please mark your calendars and plan to participate. Thank you for your loyal support of our Sunday worship service through our various streaming outlets. Pastor Terry thanks everyone and encourages you to continue watching and listening every week. Please be reminded there are several ways to give to Mount Peace. You may visit our website, mountpeaceraleigh.org, and select the Giving tab. From there, you will be directed to the online version of Givelify, where you can safely pay your tithes and offerings. You may also download the Givelify app from the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Additionally, we have the Cash app as an option. Our cash app ID is dollar sign Mount Peace BC. Lastly, you can mail or deliver your support directly to Mount Peace, 1601 MLK Boulevard, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27610. Thank you for your continued financial support of the Mount Peace Baptist Church. Mount Peace is pleased to highlight Dr. Talika McCoy on the publication of her third book entitled God Makes Me Smile. She will have signed copies available at the church in October for $13. So let's make sure we support her latest effort. Congratulations, Dr. McCoy. Please be sure to join Dr. Talika McCoy for the live stream of our Word on Wednesday to be held Wednesday, September 23rd at 7 p.m. We will be live on Facebook and YouTube. And this week, Dr. McCoy will teach from the subject, Can You Help Me Accept Jesus? The Youth Ministry will host a Youth Fun Day to be held Saturday, October 31st from noon to 2 p.m. Get ready for Zumba, a movie, and food. All activities will be done exercising social distancing and members are asked to donate candy for the event. We want to see you. Mount Peace would love to see a video of you and your family watching the live stream of one of our worship services. Be sure your video is one minute or less and send via Google Drive or Dropbox to mpbc1601 at gmail.com. We will publicly show select videos. Also, by submitting your videos, you agree that your video will become property of Mount Peace Baptist Church for promotional purposes. Thank you for being in tuned as we share another moment of peace in progress.
Put your hands together. Come on, if you know Jesus today, come on and clap your hands right here. Come on, we're going to go back a little bit. The song says, yes, I know Jesus. I know him for myself. Is that your testimony today? Come on, clap your hands, everybody. I saw, I saw, I saw, 
yes, I know Jesus for myself. Amen. Uh, what a privilege it is to greet you today in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. It is good for us to be here, those who are in the sanctuary today, and then it's good to have you tuned in through social media today. We are grateful for the opportunity to worship together and lift up the precious name of Jesus. I have not done it. Amen. Uh, I have not uh, said anything about music uh, ministry and, and those who are leading uh, in worship, our youth today, as well as our uh, audiovisual ministry. Thank you so much uh, for all that you do. And there are others, uh, finance and all, who are working behind the scene. And so I want to thank you for doing what you do to the glory of God. And it is a blessing when you work because you love the Lord. Amen. Many, most of you uh, will not have a paycheck behind this. Uh, but, oh, I'm so glad that serving the Lord will pay off after a while. Amen. Amen. God has blessed you because you are blessing him. So we're glad to greet you today uh, in Jesus' name. I want to uh, encourage us um, as we continue to grow together uh, during these uncertain times. I want us to uh, um, be encouraged to be a part of our midweek worship. Wow. Word on Wednesday. Every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Uh, join us as uh, Dr. McCoy leads us uh, in the study of God's word. Uh, you are aware that she is uh, our youth uh, minister, and we started that as a youth Bible study, uh, but we asked, and I asked her uh, to continue to make it an adult uh, Bible study, the church-wide Bible study. And so uh, we, are, we are grateful. Uh, there are other announcements. You will find them uh, on our uh, church website. Uh, please read them at your leisure and govern yourselves accordingly. Uh, let me remind you or inform you that we are planning. We are planning uh, for church-wide revival beginning the first Sunday in uh, October, the first Sunday in October, we will have a first Sunday fellowship, uh, but Wednesday, well, no, Monday through Wednesday, we will have revival. Uh, and so I am looking forward uh, to uh, having us to share in and tune in and some who will show up uh, to share in this revival. Uh, the Reverend Dr. Quintrell Burrell, uh, New Hope Baptist Church in Charlotte will be our guest preacher. So we're looking forward to the Lord blessing us uh, in a great way, in a great way. God bless your hearts. Uh, let us now prepare to worship God through the service of giving. And I want to encourage us to go on and make uh, the necessary sacrifices uh, that we need to make. Uh, even in tough times, those of us who have an income, uh, then we need to go on and at minimum uh, give what God declared and demand, and that is uh, the tithe. Will a man rob God? Uh, yet you've robbed me in tithes and offerings. Ah, and the Lord says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me. Now he whiffs said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Uh, I am grateful. I am thankful that I learned that principle many years as a child, uh, many years ago in Rockingham. And I can be a witness uh, that the Lord is true to his word. Amen. Amen. So let's give as God has commanded us. Amen.
And the people of God said, Amen. We pause now for our moments of meditation. This is the time we ask God's blessings upon the sick and shut in of our church. Not only do we pray for those persons in our church family, but we're praying for men and women everywhere. Uh, all of those persons listed in our bulletin, we're lifting them even now. And again, I will direct your attention to uh, the church bulletin online uh, for us uh, to lift those sisters and brothers. Uh, if you are uh, celebrating a birthday or an anniversary uh, today or this week or you celebrated it and we missed it, uh, will you lift your hands or if you are watching us today, go on and send us a message, message us if you will, uh, and we will celebrate with you. Amen. Uh, we continue to lift in bereavement uh, Sister uh, Monica Campbell and family on the passing of her sister. And uh, that service for uh, Sister uh, Wanda uh, Bobbitt uh, will be held on Tuesday at Lee Funeral Home. So we are lifting uh, that Bobbitt and Campbell family in prayer. Uh, we lift Sister Sheila Williams and family on the passing of her sister. And that service was held this past Thursday. So we're lifting them in prayer. There are others. Come on and lift them in prayer.
Amen. All of our help comes from the Lord. We are grateful that we have one of our youth here. We have Miss Lauren. And as we know, traditionally, we celebrate our youth on third Sunday. And so this is third Sunday. And so Miss Lauren has volunteered to read scripture and to pray. So let's hear it for Miss London. Lauren. <laughs> Scripture of the Father of Thirties Twenty Third Song. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie right in the green pastures. He leads me a path for righteousness for his name's sake. He leads me inside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou wild and a staff to comfort me, that prepares the table before me, and the presence of my enemies, that anoints my head with oil. My cup when it's over. Surely goodness and mercy shall form me all the days of my life. And I will throw in the house of love forever. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. We bless you and we love you. And bless our pastor and bless our church. And bless everyone in the whole wide world. Amen. Amen. And you all could not see out there on social media, but she recited the 23rd Psalm. You saw the words. She didn't need the words. To God be the glory. Let's hear it for Lauren. Praise the Lord. Out 
and Omega. Omega. Forever. Forever. Forever be seen. He will reign. Forever. Forever. Holy, holy, holy. Holy is He. For He is Alpha. And Omega. Forever, forever, forever is he. is he, and he will reign, reign forever. forever, holy, 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 oh. holy is he. Is he. Lord, glory to the Lamb. To the Lamb. Heaven 
declares his glory. Earth declares his glory. Beneath the earth declares his glory. There's nobody like him. We can search the whole world over and find out that nobody else deserves the glory but God. Come on, somebody, open your mouth, declare his glory, make mention that his name is exalted. Oh God, oh God. Hallelujah. It's a kingdom power and the glory for ever forever amen for thy is the king the power, the glory forever. Oh. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. We give you glory. We magnify you. You deserve the glory today. We bow before you. We worship and adore you, Jesus. For thy is a kingdom, the power and the glory forever, forever, Bless the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. We give the Lamb glory for our God is worthy. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, our God is worthy. Amen. God bless your heart. We bless the name of Jesus today. Tell you what, let's go on and pray. Let's go on and pray. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Oh, you are my strength. Yes. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches. Reaches to me. Oh, you are. You are my strength. Yes. Strength like no other. Strength like 
said amen amen god bless your heart uh we have a praise report from uh the sister of deacon tucker and reverend um uh, sanders and uh, that she's doing much better and uh she has amen so we thank god for her all right uh psalm uh, 137 psalm 137 verses three and four Psalm 137, verses 3 and 4. You see it. Uh, For there, they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Amen. I want to talk about you better sing. You better sing. You better sing. Amen. How can we sing the Lord's song in a strange, in a strange land? This psalm contains a mixture of tears and tragedy. Uh, Someone wrote that this psalm has a mixture of uh, sorrow and very fiery patriotism. We have here the daughters of Zion covered with a cloud, dwelling with the daughters of Babylon. We have the people of God in tears and sowing in tears. Uh, The first party of the exile had uh, just returned from Babylon and they had come to Jerusalem where everything reminded them of what the enemy had done. It brought back to their memory the horrors of those dreadful days when Jerusalem was captured and destroyed. Uh, It reminded them of how God's people were found by the rivers of Babylon. They were found in a strange land. They were found a great way from their own country. I tell you, the children of God were prisoners of war. And and I submit that to you today because some of us feel like that right now. Uh, uh, Some of us feel like prisoners, even in our home with COVID-19. Can't go anywhere much. Got to stay home. Can't go to school. Can't go uh, to work. Many of us, you know, don't have work now. 
uh, the land of Babylon was now a house of bondage to the chosen people just like Egypt had been. Uh, their conquerors kept them by the rivers. Uh, uh, we, we want you to work, but work there by the rivers. I, I don't have to worry about prison because you can't go anywhere if you stay by the rivers. Uh, uh, live there, uh, but live by the rivers. Cry there, but cry by the rivers. Do whatever you have to do, but stay by the rivers. Uh, yeah, yeah, the psalm is right that, that as we sat on the banks of the rivers, we remembered Zion. Uh, uh, we remembered the holy hill. We remembered the holy temple. I, I, I tell you, I tell you that uh, the writer says we wept as we remembered Zion. Uh, uh, somebody said you, you don't really miss the water until the well runs dry. Uh, even in these six months or so, uh, many of us have come to miss the, the fellowship of God's people. We, we've come, uh, we, we've taken, um, prior to this, we've taken shaking hands and hugging and showing up on Sunday morning for granted. But, but, but now that we can't meet or that we can't hug, we can't shake hands, uh, we, we remember and, and we miss Zion. Uh, you see, they had neglected the city of God. They had ignored all that Jerusalem stood for. They, they had disregarded the city of the great king, the city of David, the chosen city of God. They, they had overlooked the temple um, on Mount Moriah um, with its hallowed services and sacrifices. And above all, they had, had overlooked the Shekinah glory cloud. But but now what would they give to see Zion again? Uh, yeah, yeah, they were way down yonder by themselves. They, they were in bondage. They had been carried away captive from their own land. They, they, they took most of what they had. They, they had a little with them, but, but what did they do? Uh, now, now these people were not, uh, yeah, if they handed, no, 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 uh, they had something with them. Now, uh, what, what did they have with them? I'm glad you asked. They, they had harps. They had musical instruments. They, they had the harps that they used in the, the worship of God Almighty. They, they had the Levitical harps. They and what did they do with them? They, uh, they did not throw them away. They did not uh, hide them under uh, bushels. No, but unlike, unlike uh, many, uh, yeah, they hung them uh, on willow trees. Uh, they were so hurt that they could not sing. They, uh, they were robbed of joy. And, and I need to tell you, oh, what shame, oh, what shame. I, I want you to know. First of all, that even in times of trouble, uh, even in times of hardships, I need to remind you that praising God is never out of season. Uh, how many of you know that it is in God's will that we should in everything give thanks? Uh, somebody said in everything. Uh, you don't have to thank him for everything. Uh, uh, but in everything, you ought to give him thanks. Uh, yeah, in my disappointment, I give him thanks. In my hurt, I give him thanks. In my trouble, I give him thanks. When I am down, I give him thanks in everything. The abuse which their enemies put on them was not enough. It was not enough uh, that they had carried them away captive from their own land. It was not enough that they... Uh, then wasted them in the land of their trouble. Uh, it was not enough that they took what little they had from them uh, to complete their woes. They insulted them. They required of us mirth and a song. They, uh, they, they said to those uh, Jerusalem, those Israelites, really, he said, sing us one of Zion's songs. 
But, but look at their response. They asked the question, how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Uh, well, well, well I, I just need to share with you a few things and then I'm out of here. Uh, first of all, I need to tell you that these people should have had a song. Uh, no, no, not so much for the enemy. No, no, I know the enemy wanted to be entertained, but, uh, uh, and even in church, uh, we have a lot of folk who want to be entertained. Uh, so I don't have a song for those who are looking for entertainment, but they should have had a song for themselves. Yeah, yeah, what, you, what I'm trying to tell you today is that we've got to learn how to encourage ourselves. Uh, we've got to learn how to lift our own spirits. We've got, we've got to learn how to pat ourselves on the back. What are, what are you saying? What are you saying is that you can't wait for other folk to lift your spirit. You, you can't wait for other folk to put a smile on your face. You better learn how to put a smile on your own face. Uh, you remember David, you remember David, David was having some issues, but the Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. You, you, you got to tell yourself, you got to talk to yourself every now and then and tell yourself, I know I can make it, I know I can make it, I know I can make it. So you got to learn how to encourage yourself. Uh, but then secondly, let me tell you, they would have been able to sing if they had not been so self-centered. Uh, many of us have lost our joy. Why? Well, it's because many of us are so busy thinking about ourselves. Yeah, we're, we're thinking about not what I need, but what I want and what I feel and what I think and what I believe, we're so busy thinking about what I've been called to do, about my gift, uh, about my ministry, about my word. And I want you to know today that uh, a self-centered life uh, always makes us weak and uh, miserable. Uh -huh. Self-centeredness, uh, well, led these people to neglect their duty. Uh -huh. And as the people of God, I need to tell you, uh, they should have been trying to make the best out of a bad situation. Um, they should have been trying to bring beauty out of ashes. Uh -huh. uh, but they were put there to witness for God, our Savior. Yeah, yeah, and instead they made themselves miserable. Uh, they made themselves uh, helpless uh, by brooding over their miseries. Uh, they were in such bad shape uh, that when asked for a Zion song, uh, they were so pitiful they could not see. <laughs> oh, if they had thought about God, if they had thought less about themselves, if they had thought more about God our Father, I want you to know they would have been able to see. Yeah, even in a strange land. Well, well, I'm getting out of here. Thirdly, uh, these people might have been able to see uh, if their faith in God had mastered uh, their circumstances. Uh, the people of God allowed circumstances to rob them of their music. Oh, yes, Zion was in desolation, but God was still on the throne. Yeah, yeah, I said God is still on the throne. Uh, they were under his chastening hand. Uh, but then you know he chastens for our benefit. Uh, victory would not come overnight. Uh, but then you know that you can't hurry God. You've got to learn how to wait. Uh, come on out there, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 
They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. If you wait on them, I said if you wait on him, uh, how many of you know that he'll make everything all right? Well, I'm going to my seat. Why don't you see? Uh, you don't know what I've been through. Yeah, you're right, but uh, you still ought to have a song. Yeah, the world is asking for a song. I know, I know, I know that we seemingly are in a strange land. Yeah, but I declare you ought to still have a song. I said we may be in a strange land, uh -huh, but you ought to have a, a song. Uh, why, why don't you sing? Well, you don't know I, I lost my loved one. Yeah, I've lost my friend. Yeah, my family is crazy. Uh, but you ought to still have a song. Uh, well, I don't know how you feel about it. Uh -huh, but when, when I have trouble in my life, uh, it helps me to have a song. I've had my share of ups and downs. I've had my share yeah, of good and bad. Do I have a witness in the building? Uh, you may say you have problems on your job. Some folk are saying, I don't even have a job. I I've got problems in my home. I've got problems all around me. But I need to tell you that oh, God is still good. And you ought to have a song. Because the God I serve is a problem solver. The pro God I serve is a mountain mover. The God I serve is a door opener. The God I serve is a mighty God. And you ought to have a song. I, 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 I've had trouble I'm just like you. I've had burdens just like you. I've got heartaches just like you, but when trouble comes my way, I find myself asking, why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for a heaven and home when Jesus is my portion? A constant friend is he, his eye, I said his eye, his eye is on the sparrow. And I know, and I know, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing. Because I'm free, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Anybody here still got a song? Anybody here still got a song? When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Do I have a witness? I still got a song. I'm so glad. Trouble don't last always. I still have a song. I still have a song that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I still have a song. There are some 
things I may not know. There are some places I cannot go, but I am sure of one thing. God is real. 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 Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes. He gives me victory. I still have a song. Won't he do it? Won't he fix it? Won't he bless you? Won't he make a way? You ought to have a song. Yes. 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 I still have a song. I still have a song. I still have a song. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. I don't worry over the future because I know what Jesus says. And today I'll walk beside him for he knows what is ahead. You ought to have a song. Even in the midnight hour, you ought to have a song. I wish I had a witness. I wish I had a witness. Paul and Silas locked up in jail. But at midnight, uh, at midnight, the Bible says Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. If you pray and you praise, if you pray and you praise, if you pray and you praise, God will turn it around. Say yeah. He will. He will. He will. He will. He will. He will. He will turn it around. He'll turn it around. I'm finished. He'll turn it around. He'll turn it around. Ah, he'll turn it around. Ah, he'll turn it around. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Amen. We can still have a song when we're struggling, when we are in pain, we can still have a song. Sing to God. Sing to God and watch him work it out. I still have a song. After all the things I've been through, still got a song. Still have a song. Glory to God. Glory. Look, my brothers and sisters, if there is one you've heard this message and uh, you realize that you need to know him, I want to invite you to give your life to Christ now. Don't wait until you get out of your struggle. Don't wait until you get out of your situation. Receive him now. Receive him now. How can I do that? Romans 10 and 9 simply says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And so I invite you to receive him today. You believe in your heart that God sent Jesus to die for your sins you believe in your heart that Jesus died but on the third day he arose from the dead you believe that in your heart and you confess it with your mouth the Bible says you're saved 
this prayer is a simple prayer, but if you remember it, if you pray it and mean it, you'll be saved at the end of the prayer. Come on and pray together. Lord Jesus, I know you love me. You died on the cross bearing my sins. I confess that I am a sinner and cannot save myself. By faith, I receive you as my Savior. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Amen. Look at that. If you pray that prayer, you meant it. You're saved. Yes. It had not been. Yes. For the Lord on my side. Oh, tell me where would I be? I want to know where. your heart so glad that you have taken the time to worship with us today it is our hope it is our prayer that something has been said that will draw you closer to him who've called us out of darkness to walk into the marvelous light receive the benediction even now and now may the grace of God the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest rule and abide with all of God's people now and forevermore and all of God's people say Bless you. Have a wonderful day. Go make a difference.